G Herbo had that case. <laughs> he had that fraud case. I remember that. Okay, that man was facing up to 20 years, and I do believe that he was. I think he got like a probation or something like that. Um, I think he got a probation, but also I thought he had to pay some money back to them folks. They're saying law uh, firm Prince Lobel Ty filed a lawsuit, okay? Now, these are the people that was representing him during that case, okay? Obviously, he never paid them, and so now they're here to recoup. They need that coinage, Okay. Um, they're saying the rapper hired the legal team back in 2020, shortly after his plea deal for a fraud scheme in which he could have faced up to 20 years. And before he's sentencing uh, early this year, he allegedly halted on making payments. Mr. Wright has not paid and owes the law firm two hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars. All right. Now, based on legal documents, they're saying that the last payment he made was December 29th of last year. In addition to what's oh, they are seeking 1.2% in interest, okay? They stated that Herbert accepted their services knowing that he would have to pay and that him benefiting without payment is wrong. Listen, you should have been doing a whole lot of bookings unless you're over here trying to pay a whole lot of other folks' bills. You should have got on the payment plan or something with them folks. They're going to mess around and garnish your wages. And you're going to have to get everything in cash, sir. OK, now they're going to end up pulling a nini leaks on you if you don't set up something. Now, we are what about to be 10 months into this doggone year and you ain't trying to send these people nothing. You couldn't even send these folks. Let me see. The uh, two dollars and sixty seven cent on the bill. You could because they said you owe two hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred eighty two dollars and sixty seven. And you couldn't even send them to two sixty seven. What about the five eight two five hundred eighty two? You could you have sent them that you had it. You just ain't want to pay it. And now you got to sit up here and pay them folks. Well, let me tell you something. I, ain't, I, I don't even feel bad. I, mean, I don't feel bad for the um law firm because y'all knew what the hell was going on. Y'all done sat up here and represented a man that be out here committing fraud and thought that he wasn't going to commit it against y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all just sat up here represented this man that was out here scamming because he stays scheming that's what's going on <laughs> and he done schemed on you bitches too child this is kind of funny to me y'all should have had a better situation set up Y'all should have made sure that he was paying something every month. And if he wasn't, then we're going to have to stop our attorney services. A lot of attorneys don't pay that. I mean, they don't play that. If you don't pay a certain amount, they not from the, uh-uh. We're going to have to withdraw from the case, your honor. I have not received any payment from him to represent him. I am, uh-uh. Go away from me with this. Okay? So it's actually a little piece of a chuckle for me that you would sit up here, represent this man on a federal fraud case, and thought that he won from the fraud. And thought he was going to get you bitches too. I'm a screaming. <laughs> well, good luck to Prince Lobel or Lobel, okay? Hopefully y'all get y'all corn or just a piece of it from this man, okay? We do hope that y'all get a little song because everybody should get paid for their work, okay? It's given recession regardless of whether they want to say it or not. People do deserve to get in on this. So let them people get their money, okay? <laughs> That is too funny to me. Let's keep going. We got into him. Okay, let me see what else we had over here. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get into this. So real quick, Quavo had a case that happened out there in Las Vegas, right? And it appears that he had got into him a nook, if you book, nook, 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 a ruffle and a scuffle with some people. So the people ended up taking him to court. And let me tell you, I didn't even know that he had a case against him. I did not know this man had a case against him. Well, girl, they saying this man going to have to pay like $700,000 to these souls. He done lost the case. Baby, y'all done over there taking ills, okay? Offset over there losing his wife, and you about to lose some money out your account, too. It should never be that deep, people. A judge ordering Migos rapper Quavo to pay nearly $700,000 for hitting a valet at the wind back in 2018. Antonio Henry, a former worker for the Encore, says Quavius Marshall injured him physically and emotionally. Marshall's lawyer had said Henry was not injured and was instead in a pursuit of what he called a hip-hop lotto ticket. Hit him, the jury him disagreed and ordered that that payout happen today. Police issued Quavo a citation. However, the case does not appear in any court record. Baby, did they say, did they expect their payment to be issued today? 
disagreed and ordered that that payout happen today. Police issued. Maybe he talking about just the order. They ordered for it to be paid out, baby. Mr. Uh, what's his, what, what is his name? Quavius? What's the name, sir? Sir. Okay. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot of coinage there. That's a lot. Let me see. That's a lot of money that you got to pay. Imagine slapping somebody and it's going to cost you. It's going to run you that much money. Imagine slapping somebody and it's going to run you that much. <sighs> Child, not 700000 for a smack. <laughs> A well-known rapper testifying in his own defense Wednesday, a hotel employee is suing Quantavius Marshall, better known as Quavo, for injuries after a fight at the win in April of 2018. Now, ABC Now investigator Kyle Payne, the only member of the media following this high-profile trial, in court to hear the rapper tell his side of what exactly happened. Well, let's tell in the you. civil case against Quavo, Marshall, the defense's star witness, was in fact a star. Quavo himself. Get up out of our face. Get up out of our face. Get up out of my face. Get up out of my face. Get up out of our face. Boom. Slap him. That slap by the rapper best known as Quavo here in the red shirt Boom, put the star him. musician in front of an audience. He says he's never before performed. Is this your first time in court? Ever, yeah. First time. A jury of his peers who need to decide if this fracas in 2018 is enough to award the plaintiff damages for injuries. And while Marshall admits to hitting this valet at the win after a 3M show in the spring of 2018, he says his open hand slap was just a slap because the plaintiff, who says he was hurt by Marshall and then others in the scuffle, was invading his space. But told 11 Clark County jurors that's not who he is. What do you believe your image to be? To be a great role model um, for the kids, at least. Uh, and just be myself and show them where I came from. I always never forget where I came from, but also just be kind to others. But kind does not describe this altercation, the video of which was first obtained by the 8 News Now investigators, who also dug up this police citation written after 4 that morning, alleging, as does the plaintiff, a closed fist punch. Like I said, it was an open hand slap just to... It do look like space. it was an open hand slap, I, though. That's not my character. It was too quick. Uh, it's not nothing that we stand for. Closing arguments are expected Friday, and at that point, a Clark County jury will need to decide, beyond a preponderance of the evidence, whether Quavo injured that plaintiff enough to come back with a verdict that says he did. B.I.T. and they did, okay? They did. They came back and said the jury agreed that Quavo was responsible for the damages, so now he has to cough up $682,000. He was not happy. Cha. Whoo, honey. Assaulted this man, y'all, back in 2018. And in 2024, the man is receiving compensation. Ain't that something? All that money? <sighs> so that's what I'm talking about. Slap me. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Don't try, honey, because you will get sued. That is what I'm talking about right there, honey. And then he went and got the footage, too. Listen, I'm not mad at that, young man. Get your coin. Get paid. Get paid, young brother. Get paid.